Seems like all the weird shit happens in Florida, and this next story is no exception. Apparently there was a 17-year-old, according to the smoking gun, that impersonated a doctor successfully for a month without getting caught. Now eventually he did get caught, and he's not facing any charges because even though he was roaming around the halls of the hospital wearing a white lab coat, uh, he didn't actually go into any of the patient's rooms or he didn't see any patients. Now, uh, he's an unnamed teen. We don't know what his identity is because he is a minor, but his mom has told police that he suffers from an undisclosed illness and refuses to take his medicine. So he even had like a set, a set, set stethoscope. <laughs> stethoscope. Yeah, a stethoscope. I guess you're not pretending to be a doctor. <laughs> no, I'm not. Around his neck and everything. And then when authorities searched his car, they found more hospital paraphernalia, which you could buy online, by the way. Anyone could do this, which mm -hmm. is scary. But I love that he was able to do this for a month without getting caught. Jen, what do you think? Make your point. I think his undisclosed illness is called awesomeness because um, <laughs> obviously, like, if, look, if he was putting people in danger and treating patients and going in there, that would be like a real problem, that irresponsible and we say something maybe about his psychology even being a little bit sociopathic. But it seemed like this kid was just bored and decided to do something kind of fun and interesting. And although I obviously can't say this would be a good thing to impersonate a physician, I think it's something that I would do so I can't judge this kid because I'm like, Good move, kid. Nice. All right. Yeah, I'm pretty on board this. Like, mental whatever notwithstanding, like, this is pretty great. Like, he did something. Like, think about all the times you could do something just wacky and you don't yeah. do it. And he just wandered the halls. He didn't operate. He didn't do brain surgery. You know what I mean? Like, he just wandered the halls. I would venture to say he probably comforted people. Mm -hmm. And, like, who knows what he was doing? We don't really right. know. But, like, he did something. So nobody got hurt. It's all right. Yeah, I'm definitely happy that no one got hurt and he didn't cross the line by going into a patient's room. Um, but what I also don't understand is, as a 17-year-old, first of all, like, where are your parents? How come they don't know where you are for a month, right? Like yeah. your Roman. I don't know how long he was in the hospital on a daily basis. But then also, if you like being in the hospital, you can actually be there legally or lawfully or without breaking any rules, I should say, sure. and get like credit for it. It's called an internship, right? Like do something <laughs> right. like that. And then, you know, you can be there and not have to hide. But maybe he got a little bit of a thrill off of hiding the fact that he was just a 17 year old. Here's the question though if you could have a different job for a month, uh, each year, what would it be, Dave? I mean, without question, I would be a professional basketball player. Oh. With, without question. I mean, that would be my dream. If I could, I would trade two years of my life right now to get 15 minutes in a, in a professional basketball game in a second. Like, not only just the, the sport of it and playing on those courts with those people and that high level of something that I truly love, but also just like the, the media part of it. And like, I just think it would be, it would simply be the greatest thing in the world. Interesting. Yeah. Jen, what about you? I'd be a spy. Okay. I, would, I think I would, you might be a spy I already. Might be one, I, I mean, obviously we were talking about before that I have the propensity to thrill seek um, and I really like to travel to different places. I can imagine myself pretending to be somebody entirely different like this kid did in the mm -hmm. doctor situation and if every once in a while I got to completely leave my life to go do something like undercover and I would probably get exercise some of these desires I have to do yeah. this crazy shit anyway. So at least I'd uh, be being productive and getting paid for it. That would be fun. That would be fun. I would be a go-go dancer. Fun. I, I really? Think I have like this fascination with go-go dancers. I feel like it's my alter ego. They're sexy. They're confident. You know, they're not getting 100% naked, but like they're still like showing off some skin. I just love the confidence that they exude, and I, I would love to do that. And it's so different from what I do for real work, you know, for my work, I should say, real life work. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I like have these fantasies about being a go-go dancer. Can I just say, so mine, totally unrealistic, right? There's no chance in hell I could become a professional basketball player. Yours, I suppose, maybe yeah. it's somewhat, you could do that tomorrow. Right that's the, yeah, that's really the, like we could leave, funny. we could end the show right now, and yeah, you could you like. Still be a go yeah. I know. I know this sounds absurd, and I I don't think that I'll actually do it because unfortunately there's too much stigma mm -hmm. attached to it, and I don't want to get recognized and hassled or anything like that. But I would if I mean I've actually considered it. Like I sat down, I spoke to my boyfriend about it. I was like, what if I go go dance on the weekends? Do you think that'll destroy my career? 
And he's like, I think it'd be awesome. He's like, I'd go watch well, you. Well, we, like, we could go on a covert undercover spy mission where if yeah. I pretend I'm being a spy and you decide you want to be a go-go dancer, like, I would do that with you one night. Like, I'd go dance somewhere. Yeah. And, do yeah. and I'll, I'll be a professional it. basketball player with a shitload of money just, <laughs> just throwing, throwing money everywhere. everywhere. I like it. We came full circle. Okay, we have this vision. All right, well, tell us what you guys would do uh, for work for a month out of the year. Uh, it could be anything, as you could see from our panel. And also, uh, what do you make of this teenage boy who who uh, paraded around a hospital pretending to be a doctor. Do you agree with us that it's not that big of a deal, or do you think there's a serious issue here that should be discussed? Comment in the section be below, and we'll see you guys later.